Welcome to Better Play Golf. Today we're going to do a little install on the golf cart. We've got some rear heavy duty dual action springs we're going to put on. And we're gonna talk about a few tips to put those on successfully and uh, as quickly as possible. We're going to talk about which ones we chose and why. And also we're gonna talk about if it's needed if you add a rear seat to your golf cart. So let's move forward and get started. So if you haven't seen any of our videos, Better Play Golf is a channel that talks about golf, carts, simulators, golf-related items. We've got some home items that relate to golfing, um, basically anything. We live in a community that uh, is golf cart friendly and we've got three golf courses within about a half mile of us. So we're always on the golf cart, my wife, daughter, and I, so it's always fun to upgrade it. And, uh, and I, I love the mechanics of it, so. Just thought I'd share. So anyways, let's get started on unboxing this and putting it on the cart, seeing uh, if it's needed. So we went with the mods dual action. Um, instead of just the heavy duty version, we figured that the dual action is nice because not only do you have um, the heavy duty aspect to give you more weight uh, capacity in the back, because when you put two adults in the back plus the rear seat that might weigh 50, 60 pounds, plus depending on which model you buy, you need something that can take that weight and um, make your golf cart not sag and basically drag the rear to the, to the uh, ground. Um, heavy duty springs will basically give you a rougher ride if you don't have that extra weight back there. But these uh, dual action ones, they ride well, but then they have a little extra helper spring. So when you do have that added weight, then you get that heavy duty portion that you need so your golf cart doesn't just ride with the back uh, grinding against the pavement. So we've got the, uh, the kit right here. We did get uh, the new bushing kits because our golf cart is a 2013, so it's seven years old or so. Um, so figured it would be a good idea to, to get those. And then here's our springs. So as you can see, you've got your normal spring and then you've got a second helper spring on the bottom that basically gives you that extra capacity. These came in a kit and we bought them through Golf Cart King. Uh, it looks like they gave us a little sticker. And a mod sticker. So let's pull these out. Installation is pretty self-explanatory, but it doesn't even look like they gave us any direction. So we'll move over to the cart and we'll look at a before and after of what it does, just so you know if you need them or not. Chances are you will need them. So let's move over and uh, see what it looks like with some weight on the back. All right, now that we've looked at the spring kit, we're going to go through, take some baseline numbers. So when we measure from the ground to the fender, we've got about 22 inches. So let's get uh, some weight on it. I'm about 180 pounds, 185 with some clothes on. So we're at about 21 and a half. Okay, now that we've got our rear seat kit installed, we're gonna go through and measure the, uh, the height of the fender. So we are about 21 and a half. So when we started, we were about 22. So we lost about a half inch of suspension travel by adding this uh, suspension kit. And let me go ahead and sit on the kit. And now we're about 21. And we've got about 22 inches, which is pretty close to stock. And we're about 21 and a quarter. So we got a, about a quarter inch more of ride height. All right, so we are here. We've unboxed the spring, so now we're gonna put them in. So we've got some jack stands. Now we're gonna jack up the cart so we can uh, get under there. Make sure to block off the front tires just so the cart doesn't roll. So we've got the cart jacked up quite a bit, so we're going to go ahead and use the jack stands. Okay, so we've got the jack stands on the frame. We're gonna leave the jack on. Okay, so to remove the shocks, we've got a bolt here, and then we've got one at the front, Up. let's just tilt it right there. And then we've got this 
right here we need to remove. So we're going to go through, loosen these up. got those loosened up we're gonna go ahead and loosen these these uh, forward and backwards now we got to shake it shake the rear axle a little bit to get the bolt out so we got that bolt out now let's go ahead and, and pull these out. We're going to use our air, air ratchet. Keep those in order. We've got the forward and the the inner. Okay, so next off, we have to just unloosen loosen that bolt, and then we should be able to just pull the spring off. Okay, we got that bolt off. We got some bushings. There we go. Bushings up there. So that is the uh, suspension. So let's get the new one uh, put together and put on. So we've got a new bushing kit for the um, new suspension. So we've got our front bushings that go in there. Okay. And then we've got our rear bushings. That'll push in just like that. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start from the front. We're going to put the bolt back in. Then we'll put the nut back on on the front, just uh, finger tight. Now what we're going to do down here so we're going to lift the spring up and lift the axle. And then there's a little bolt at the bottom here. So we want the bolt at the bottom to go in the hole. It fits inside the hole on the bottom of the spring holder. So, so let's see if I could do this by myself. Okay, we've got our bolt put back in the middle there on the bottom. And it uh, looks like we're all set. So now we can go through, put our bolt on this back one, get it lined up. Okay, we'll put it on just finger tight on the back side. And then we've got our inner. Okay, now we've got our outer. We 
We've got a little shock here. Some people upgrade these to an air shock, um, but we'll see how they do. So let's switch our air ratchet to forward. <laughs> We'll go through and torque these uh, by hand, but just to get them, get them going, it's a lot easier with the air tools. Looks like we're gonna have to run the compressor, so. Now we want these bottom ones to be even. And we're all tight, so we'll go ahead, get our wheel back on, and then we're done. So, pretty simple process. Let's get the old leaf spring out of the way. All right, so that is the final install for the heavy duty mods uh, dual action rear springs. So it should provide us some better riding when we are driving with some extra passengers, but then have the comfort of the stock ride when we don't have extra passengers. If you do want to learn more, I'll have a link in the description. You can go check them out and uh, purchase some for your own cart. Anyways, make sure to subscribe if you like to see more uh, informational videos on how to do things to your golf cart. We've got plenty more coming. We also have some on seatbelt installs, the whole rear seat install. We've got a stereo install, headlight, taillight, all sorts of stuff. So anyways, uh, we'll see you next time.